Hello, I just wanted to do a really quick review on my new Milodon pan. Uh, this one here happens to be the Milodon 307204302 and 289 stock replacement front sump pan for 1960 to 1974. Um, it uses the stock or the Milodon pickup. It has the stock depth with a Heliarc welded internal baffle and it has the oil capacity of five quarts. Uh, now I'm going to be using it here on this Mustang right here. This is a 1971 Mustang Fastback is what this one is or sport, sports roof they used to call them. Um, and it will have a 302 engine uh, at least. I, it may have a 331 stroker kit or something of that nature but it will be a 302 engine that's going to be in here. Okay, so um, here at, at my house I have the engine on the stand that I'm working on and I bought a trick flow stud girdle and I bought a Canton um, a windage tray and I had to modify it to make it all work with the you know the stuff that I've got going on basically underneath there and I had a 289 and a 302 steel pan um, this is a 351 Windsor pan. This is where I got this. But I had a 289 and a 302 steel plant pan, each one. Plus I had two aluminum uh, 302 289 pans that have the aluminum cooling fins on the bottom of it. And what I found out is that right back here, they, they tend to taper down much sooner than what you see here. And so my... my uh, uh, stud girdle and my windage tray would not fit and of course I found this pan it's got a dent in it I'd have to clean it up blah 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 and I thought you know what let's see what we got out there that would actually fit and Milodon is the trick at least for me okay so um, basically uh, this here gives me kind of a stock look stock capacity but yet at the same time it will actually go over the top and safely clear my uh, stud girdle and windage tray setup that i've got underneath uh, of this oil pan okay now um again once again this is out of a 351 windsor but i've been using this over here in my mock-up okay just to make sure everything clears i'm putting a new rack and pinion in uh you know just lots of modifications i'm making so i want to make sure it fits well today i decided to bring the milodon over here and make sure that it does in fact fit because i've been using this one the whole time okay and and so far it's all good so uh again this came out of 351 winter it also has by the way a a gasket that's still stuck on here so sitting here it is actually raised up just a tad because of that gasket so let's just take a look here of just exactly what we're looking at um, if you see that right there i mean they're pretty much the same height if you took that gasket off the milodon would actually be just a tad taller uh, when you put the milodon against it with that little deep well there you can see you're down about at least a half to three quarters of an inch right there okay now we are in the back here we're pretty much the same, but I'd say the Milodon is, is again, uh, probably a good quarter to three-eighths of an inch taller in the back here. Remember, this one has a gasket on it, so it's cheating a little bit. And as we move back, one of the things I noticed is that the Milodon is much more consistent about staying, uh, you know, up higher. And you can see there, now we got definitely uh, about a, oh, maybe about an eighth inch 316th gap right there so you know again the milodon does a much better job of actually uh, staying deep and flat here uh, I, I like the gold coating on it looks really good um, very happy with that it has a uh, internal baffle here uh, basically an anti-climb oil baffle so basically when the oil's down in here the windage does not try to pick it up and make it creep back up into here next to the crankshaft uh, but again, I also have a windage tray that's going to be even uh, more effective of keeping the oil off of the, you know, out of the windage area. But um, you can see there that everything's all TIG welded around, or it appears to be at least TIG welded around the bottom there where the drain plug comes in. Um, that uh, oil pan plug is magnetic, so 
It ha it can pick up uh, metal materials and whatnot. I, I kind of like that. Um, because of its design, you're not going to be able to drain all the oil out of this, though. So that, I, I don't know why they did it like that, but they did. Uh, because there's just a little bit of a slant back away from that. So you're not going to be able to get all of the oil out. Maybe you'll have a few tablespoons there. And, you know, again, the baffle is welded in there. It looks really, really nice. Uh, I really like it. I like that, again, the gold coating. Um, everything on this particular oil pan is uh, fitting for my 1971 front sump situation. It is clearing the uh, 302, which I believe is going to eventually be a 331 stroker, but as of right now, it's a 306, a board 30 over 302. Um, and and as far as all the, the the crankshaft the rods everything at perfect clearance for the you know stud girdle etc uh, I'm using a ARP main stud kit, you know instead of just bolts. I mean it's working out really well um, I'm very happy with this. Uh, it, it looks like it's going to work just fine I don't see any reason why this thing is going to leak at all um, so there it is. There you have it. Uh, putting it up against this 351 front sump, which I don't even know what vehicle we got it out of, but I do know I pulled it off a 351 Windsor. Um, and this is the Milladon oil pan stock replacement 3720. And uh, that, those are my thoughts on it. Uh, great oil pan. I would definitely recommend it. Uh, it seems to work for a lot of clearancing. Looks stock. Has a great look to it. Uh, very durable, I would imagine, as far as, you know, the steel feels really, really tough. So, um, thumbs up from me. Thanks again. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, come back again, and we'll, we'll give you some more facts. Thanks. Bye-bye.